Welcome back to Green Bay Nation. Lily's out here alongside Andy Herman and Marcus Eversall. So, guys, a big part of the show. Are you guys watching at home? So, we went online to Facebook and Twitter to ask if you had any questions for this duo to answer. So, now it's time for some fan questions. Okay, guys, our first question comes from Samantha, who wants to know the schedule will get tougher moving forward. Can the Packers come out with a winning record these next few weeks? Well, that is right. The competition does get a lot harder. Here's an upcoming look at their next five games. And here we go. They host Philly on Thursday night, obviously. Then it's at Dallas, a Monday night game against Detroit at home, followed by the Raiders. And a lot of people will be talking about this one in five weeks, and that is at Kansas City. So what do you guys think, Marcus? I think they can come out with a winning record here in their next five, and I think it's key that they do. I think it really comes down to the next two weeks. You need to get a win. Philly or at Dallas, you got to win one of those two because then I feel pretty confident after that. Detroit on Monday night at Lambeau, pretty winnable game. And then Oakland coming to Lambeau, very winnable game. At KC, you can't bank on that being a win. So it comes down, you got to get a win here. If you go three and two in your next five, I mean, that puts you at six and two halfway through the season. I mean, you've got a pretty darn good head start to the playoffs at that point. That's right. I feel like a lot of people have them at six wins, period. So that would be a great <laughs> start. Well, our second question comes from Joe, who asks, the Packers' defense is doing great, but it seems like their run defense needs some work. So is this an area of concern? And we know the guys like Dalvin Cook and Philip Lindsay have really had their way on the ground. Andy, what do you think? Is this an area for concern? I'm going to say no. First of all, Joe, thanks so much for the question. Uh, I want to start by saying you cannot stop everything. We kind of talked a little bit earlier about, you know, when you're down, you need to pass on offense. Well, when you're winning, uh, you don't necessarily need to stop the run. You need to stop the pass. And Green Bay's been winning the, consistently through the course of the last three weeks. So they can't stop everything. They are willing to let you kind of nickel and dime your way down the field, and they've done a great job of that. One run so far that I have concern over, that's the Delvin Cook run in week two that Savage maybe had a chance to stop for 15, 20 yards. Instead, it went for 75. Maybe you can count the Philip Lindsay run on, on fourth down as well where they could have gotten off the field. Can they tackle a little bit better? Yes, but again, you can't stop everything. They're focusing on stopping the pass, and in their effort to make sure that you do not you know, nickel and dime them down the field, they've also created a ton of turnovers, gotten a ton of sacks. They're working to get those type of big plays on defense while well, you have to go 15 or 16 perfect plays to go and get 80 yards and try to score a touchdown. Two drives that teams have scored touchdowns on so far. Both of those Philip Lindsay touchdowns in three games. Green Bay will take that. They haven't allowed 20 points. This is a very good thing right Right now, if they average 3.9 yards per game, it's totally fine. All right, so Andy, mic drop. Run defense <laughs> will be okay. Absolutely. <laughs> All right, guys, we have one final question. It comes from Philip, who wants to know, well, will Devontae Adams actually make his first touchdown catch Thursday night? He's been held with that one for the first three weeks for the first time since 2015. Marcus, what do you think? Yes. <laughs> Devontae <laughs> Adams will have his first touchdown this week. You can write it in ink. You can trace it in Sharpie. It is the easiest bet in the book. Devontae Adams does not go three straight games without a touchdown, but here he is. That's what he's done so far. It's just the law of averages. And the Eagles, not so good against receivers. They've had four 100-yard receivers against them in just three games. Devontae is going to eat on Thursday night. This is such a safe bet. I don't even want credit for calling it when it happens. <laughs> two uh, touchdowns. Two, two touchdowns. touchdowns. Wow. Two touchdowns. So Devontae's going to feast then on Thursday. Two touchdowns. All right, love it. Thank you guys so much for your submissions. If you ever want your questions answered on the show, visit our Facebook or Twitter pages at Green Bay Nation to submit yours, and we could answer them in a future episode. So, all right, take a, taking a break, but Green Bay Nation will delve deep into the interwebs next. Which videos got the most clicks? Stay tuned.